Welcome to your fifth Adobe Audition tutorial and in this video I will be speaking of the tools of Adobe Audition. So you can find your tools up at your top toolbar here which you can actually if you don't like where it's located or you want it a floating tab you can drag it and place it other places or leave it as a floating tab by placing it where there's no other boxes. So here's where all your tools can be located. I'm going to place that back up at the top because that is how I like it. So now, the very first tool is the select move tool, my bad. So you can shortcut this by pressing V, and what this will do is that it'll allow you to move files around just by clicking. You see? So that's what that does. Now the next tool is the razor blade selecting tool. So this will cut files. So let's say, hmm, I think a good cut could be here. So now if I go back to my select tool, I can actually separate these two files, you see? So that's pretty cool. I'm going to undo that by pressing Control Z. So that is the razor select tool. The next tool is the slip tool. You can get that by pressing Y. What this will do, this will allow you to easily shorten and lengthen certain files. So I have a file here and when I I can go hover over the left and right to shrink it or lengthen it as you can see, but I can also drag what part of the file is being played. So for example, I cut out here. Let me get my razor blade tool, cut out this much right here, and then I drag this down here, and I realize, hmm, I probably should have cut it a little bit earlier. What I can do is get this tool, which is the slip tool, I need to learn the shortcuts for these, and just drag it over a bit. So now you can see it, it changed what part of the selected file. So if I play Manage it, to increase your and yeah, I mean you probably didn't understand that at all, but that's okay. So that's what that tool does. And the last is the time selection tool. And what this will do is select a specific portion of your um, multi-track. So I can select like this right here, you see, and I can play it by clicking play or pressing space. Feel of the video. Man. I hope I have managed to in your head what? about cool stuff. So that, that'll play that, and then once you get to the end, it should repeat. Boom, goes back to the beginning. So those are the tools up here. Then I'm also going to go over the zoom tools. So the very first thing is this little bar up here. This will allow you to view the entire session, how long it is. So if I drag a file down here, you can see it moved up here. So I'm going to drag that back and I'm going to teach you some about these zoom tools. So the very first one is you can see that each one of these you can actually resize them by dragging along these black bars. Not here, it won't work here. It has to be here. So that's what that does. Now, so if you're working on something and then you don't really need it, you can kinda just like shrink it like that, you see? And then if I'm working on this main project, I'll make this one bigger by pulling it down. So that's pretty cool. And you can also shrink them all or um, make them bigger by clicking these two buttons. So if I want them bigger, I can zoom in this way. If I want them smaller, I can zoom out this way with these two buttons. Now, if I want to view a larger portion of my multi-track, I can take part of this yellow bar and scroll it to one side, or I can also use these tools right here. This will make it zoom out, and this will zoom in. So if I need to zoom in very close to see my individual this is like each of the 44,100 is one of these dots represents one of those 44,000. So that's pretty cool. So I'm going to zoom back out. And actually, the next tool, this will zoom out for you to see the whole area. So bam, that's everything I have. That's cool. So now when I have a selection, let's say I select this, the next tool will rep uh, manipulate this. by if I want to zoom in in the start, I can use this tool which uh, I haven't even been saying the names, zoom in at end point. I just like to call it the tool that start zooms into the start point because that's easier to remember. Or I can zoom into the end point. So if I swap, this is the end point, this is the start point. So if I zoom out, oops, wrong button. You can see my entire thing. So if I zoom into the start point, it goes this way. But if I zoom into the end point, it goes this way. And then this way, this way. Just like this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. Ah! So this, this, uh, the last tool, zoom to selection, 
will actually take my selected part and blow it up to take up the whole screen. So bam, this this is all I had selected. So as you can see, if I zoom out, it'll show you the rest of the the file. Now let's click the wrong one. You can also use Control and Scroll, and that will uh, make the entire multi-track zoomed in or zoomed out. And you can also hold Alt, which will increase the size of each track. So yeah, that's cool. That's really cool. So yeah, in the next video I will be speaking of something probably not as boring. So yeah, subscribe and I'll catch you later. Peace out, my friends and family. <laughs> Just kidding, my family and friends don't watch these.